welcome to this video which is another request and it is question number 5 of October November 2010 paper 41 we are given a table of cumulative frequency of 200 students and for part A we have to draw the frequency diagram from using the information in the table so before we go forward we always do give a check of what we are given in the table is height and cumulative frequency and in the grid we also have the cumulative frequency and the height so it means we do not need to convert anything we can just directly plot first point is pretty simple which is 130 at 0 130 height at 0 cumulative frequency now from the second point it's 100 at 140 height it's 10 students so 840 now we don't have 10 here one way is to just count on and try to find the correct uh, unit and how much one contains but the easier way and the quicker way is we know this this 40 is they being divided by 10 lines you can just count there are 10 lines there will always be 10 lines so the 40 is being divided by 10 lines so one line will give us 4 so now every line is 4 4 8 and 12 so between 8 and 12 is my 10 and here is at 140 I will get the 10 here so I just plotted the point just to save the time but I did give you the idea how to get the 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 one line how much is one line which is 4 so once you plot all the points all you have to do is just join them I'm just going to join them and uh, you can use a ruler in your exam to join them which which was fine and it will look much better now after joining these points we will go to part B which says B1 says the median the median is the middle number and it's always the middle of the frequency the cumulative frequency the total of 200 the middle of 200 is obviously 100 isn't it so at 100 this is my 80 and this is my 120 between them is my 100 so I will draw the line and in the exam make sure you do draw this line in the exam also okay and then I'll go back to find the answer just go down and I get 161 okay as per my graph now the upper quartile part 2 this is actually the upper quarter so out of the four quarter the upper quarter is the three fourth of again the 200 this was the middle of the 200 this is the upper quarter of the 200 and this will give us 150 okay so this time we'll make our line at 150 now 124 28 32 36 40 44 48 and 52 so 150 will be somewhere here okay so at 150 we'll draw the line In the exam, you should use a ruler to draw the line. Okay. And I'm getting 171 something. So I'll just say 171 centimeter. And another, another hint is that we have to find the values in centimeter here. So obviously, it's, obviously it cannot be a direct value. So we have to find from here, we go to the line and then we go down to find the centimeter okay part three is the inter quartile range which is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile do we know the upper quartile yes 171 minus the lower quartile we haven't found the lower quartile so let's first found the lower quartile the lower quartile however is equals to the lower which is one fourth this time of the 200 which should give us 50 now at 50 you might notice that we have already found the point 
it will be the height of cumulative frequency 50 it's it should be 150 so but even though if you can't we can just still do the same you can just find the line and it will give us 150 okay so minus 150 and this will give us 21 and even if you got this one wrong in the exam you can still use whatever you had here subtract by 150 and you will get the mark now part C1 out of now we it's now a probability question it's um, one of the 200 students is chosen at random use the table to find the probability that the height of this student is greater than 170 centimeter give your answer as a fraction okay so first we'll go to the table and then we have to find height with for the ones which are more than 170 okay so if we will take the difference of these two because out of the 200 we, will, we don't want 145 students because they were 170 or less but we want 170 more so we will just remove out of the 200 the 145 students which were not more than 170 so it will be 200 the total okay let me write it here directly the total is 200 okay and the difference from 200 to 145 is 55 200 minus 145 is 55 so there are 55 students who had the height greater than 170 out of the total 200 and we have left the answer as a fraction for part 2 now this time they have chosen a student at random and then a second student at random so it's two and from the remaining students so once they take one student they will not replace it so and this is actually important because the first time there were 200 students out of but when we take the uh, the second student there will be there will be only 199 students okay so we have to be careful about that this line is what it means here now the first one they said height greater than 170 which we have already found there are 55 which have more than 170 55 the second part says 140 or less so this time we will go to less from the table 140 or less so the difference between these two this time which is 10 minus 0 is 10 okay where is the question yeah 10 but they did not say the first one has to be 170 and the second one has to be less than 140 this just says the probability okay it didn't they didn't give us any order so because of that it could be possible the first one is less than 140 and the other one is more than 170 so this could be this could be one possibility and this could be another possibility so all we have to do we will add and both of the possibility and you will get one one or three nine eight okay part d1 complete the frequency table which shows the distribution of heights of the 200 students now this time we have to just complete the table using the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is the added on frequency so we just have to find the difference how much we have added on this is the frequency okay so for the first one for the first one which we have to find is from 165 to 170 165 to 170 how much have we added on and it's 30 the first one is 30 because 140 minus 145 minus 115 is 30 and then how much we have added on again 180 minus 145 and this will give you 35 so we'll write 35 over here and for the final one how much we have added more from 180 to 200 so 200 minus 180 is 20 so that's uh, very easy two marks for the final part we have to complete this histogram to show the distribution of heights of the 200 students now what I said again before 
the table shows height and frequency but in the grid we have height okay I missed the height it's height and here we have the frequency density not the frequency so first we have to convert our frequency into frequency density then we can find the values okay to find frequency density the formula is frequency over the class width the class width is how much is how much width here we have for example here we have 5 here we have 10 okay 160 minus 150 10 150 minus 140 10 so this is the class width okay and from where do we have to start from 160 okay so from 160 to 165 the class width is 5 and the frequency is 20 okay so 20 divided by 5 will give us 4 so our first point will be at 4 here is my point 4 and it will go up to 165 so I cannot go more than 165 so 61 62 3 4 5 65 165 okay so this will be my first line sorry about the line okay now the next point is from 165 to 170 the frequency is 30 and 30 divided by the class width is okay it's 5 it's not 10 here it's 5 from 170 165 it's 5 and this will give us 6 okay so it's 6 and 6 is my point and I have to stop at 170 okay from 165 170 like that but in the exam make sure you use the ruler scale now for the final one it's from 170 to 180 170 to 180 the frequency is 35 divided by the class width which is 10 I will get 3.5 so 3.5 is here and that's it for discussion thanks for watching